What is good, y'all boys? It's Dub Miss, and I'm coming at you with another reaction video. Today, I'm reacting to the truth about who started Super Teens, bro. I promise you right now, if they say LeBron started Super Teams, I promise you this is the worst video of all time. Bro, this was sent to me on my Instagram, bro. I feel like y'all just like making me mad. So I feel like this, I feel like they're going to say LeBron. I have a feeling they're going to say LeBron. If they're saying the Warriors, that's crazy. That's crazy. They they did not start a super team, but bro, that bro, the Warriors team is the greatest team like ever, bro. Not gonna count. Like they're beating the Bulls, like bro. Nobody's beating that team. Let's be real. Like the only reason why the Toronto Raptors beat them is because, bro, injuries. Everybody was injured. Everybody. Everybody. If they was healthy, bro. 4 0. Let's be 4 1. Let's that like let's be real. But look. I'm ready to get into this, bro. If you're new, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Anyone down below, you want to react to next? Uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and get into it, bro. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. And today I'm back with a video. It's come once again. We're going to be looking at Super Teams, the NBA, and the history of Super Teams. If you say NBA LeBron and, and not LeBron Jordan, bro, because, bro, LeBron left the Cavaliers. Who was on the Cavaliers that was helping LeBron? Nobody. The best, the second best player was Mo Williams. Something like that, bro. Nobody. Nobody was up on LeBron, but the fact that he left and went on a team that could help him go somewhere, that's different. But when Michael Jordan got Scottie Pippen, uh, like and he moved all them people to the Bulls, oh, that's not that's that's not a super team. He just needed help. Y'all be dick boy. Wondering who started the super team era and the trends of super teams in the old school NBA as well as the modern NBA. So in this video, I'm gonna run through the history of super teams. Just give an overall bro, view of the my Celtics was them. deadly, they bro. NBA, or are they bad? So first Celtics was video, deadly. Let's make it very clear up front. Super teams in the NBA have existed for 50 plus years. Yes. And you can't blame one player, one team, or one organization. But as a KD gets no respect. I don't care what you say. And, and people saying that it's the same thing as LeBron. People saying that it's the same thing like for KD going to the Warriors and for LeBron going to the uh, Miami Heat. LeBron was on the team. He had nobody. It was him. KD had help. He had people around him. But instead of just getting better, getting people to come to his team, bro, he decided to go to the people that beat him. He They needed one more game. Down, up 3-1. Needed one more game. They couldn't do it, so he went to them. How you join the 73-9 and nine team and try to compare it to LeBron going to the um, Miami Heat? Oh, shut up. Y'all be y'all don't be making no sense, bro. I'm going to see some players... Definitely that is not the, the same thing. I just players. don't like the run. But with that being said, the first ever super team in the NBA was the 1957 Boston Celtics. The Celtics team had three All-Stars and a rookie Bill Russell who was a borderline All-Star. And of course, that Boston team won the championship. Bro, and proceeded I'm not going to gonna count. Bill Russell, a GOAT, a GOAT. <laughs> no count. But bro, you shoot like that around me, I'm palming that jump mid-air. Give me that. I need that. I'm taking that. Mid-air. Don't you ever, don't you ever, bro. Don't you ever. I'm taking that. What? I thought somebody would shoot one hand around me. Okay. The next decade of basketball. Okay. So the first ever super team dynasty it was well, I'm the him, Celtics. Bro. That is pretty much <laughs> undeniable. No as he had three to four all stars and five I'm to six him, all gamers on nearly every team. But one thing you have to note that Boston team was made through draft picks as well as trades. There was very little of any play mobility in the late fifties as well as the nineteen sixties. Okay. And some other super teams from that decade, I would look to Wilt's Philadelphia team in 1967. That might if he don't mention the Miami, team. if he don't mention the Bulls, he's a rider, bro. Or not gonna say the other word, but he's a rider. England, he's a rider. In NBA. Also, the Lakers in the early 70s. I once again would consider that a super team, as they did big three of Elgin Baylor. Yeah, Jerry I West, wouldn't call that a super team, but that was a good Chamberlain. team, bro. And looking at the 80s, we had the Magic Queen Lakers as well as Larry Bird Celtics. They were undoubtedly super teams once again with three to four all-stars on virtually every team. So in the first 30 years of the NBA, there were already multiple super teams, and there's a precedent that was set. If he's mentioning the the Lakers in the Celtics, and he don't mention Michael Jordan, bro, I promise you, he's just Michael Jordan number one fan. I promise you. Three to four I promise you. 100% quantified yourself as a super team in the NBA. Now, after the 1980s and Bird Magic was gone, I think super teams are a long, long time did not exist. 
Jordan's Bulls, they were a dynasty. They were some very great teams. But in my personal view, they were not a super team. Bro, this man's a... Bro, bro, I promise you. People like, bro, he's a... Bro, 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 he's riding, bro. Michael Jordan do not know us. He don't care about... Bro, I... Bro, 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 bro. You just said that the, the, um, the Celtics with Bill Russell from 50 years ago was a super team because because of the trades and bringing people in and you counted that Michael Jordan traded he told bro they traded people to that team two all-stars to that team but it's not a bro. and now it's a dynasty bro okay. get the bro. very great team get the but bro. my personal view they were not a super team I would go super in depth but if you look at their rosters they had very very good talent but top to bottom, they didn't qualify as a super team. Bro, get the f bro, get out of here, bro. Same thing with the Shaq and Kobe Lakers. They were a dynamic duo. We that's a dynamic. No, that's not a super team. People just could not stop. That was not a super team. Now that's something that I agree on. But the Bulls, the bro, come on, shut up. Spurs, oh, Spurs is a dynasty. With great complimenting. Spurs is the only the only thing that you can call the dynasty. Players, Spurs like, and all Warriors. As well as an old Dan Robinson. Let's be real. So now with that established, the '90s Bulls, the 2000 Lakers, as well as the 2000 Spurs, those teams were not super teams. Bro, this nigga's a. And for the bro. most part, the super team era died off after the 1980s. Bro, I promise you, he's now a rider, bro. Tens, this is where super teams once again come back to the forefront of every NBA fan's mind. As in the offseason in 2010, it was a LeBron James sweepstakes. Would it go to the Knicks, the Bulls, the Nets, the Clippers, or the Miami Heat? It was widely known at that time LeBron, his move could impact the NBA for up to a decade. And as you guys know, he went down to South Beach, came up with D-Wade, as well as Chris Bond. Bro, how can you tell me that's a super team? And Michael Jordan's was it? He did the same exact thing that Michael Jordan did, except for he did it, except for that LeBron left. That was so, bro. And that Y'all be riding, bro. Changes. Crazy. D Wade as well as Chris Bosh. And that move down to Miami changed the entire NBA landscape for the next decade plus. And recently, Blake Griffin has some pretty interesting comments concerning this move. And keep in mind, this quote from Blake Griffin is in the year 2021. Which is pretty shocking because in his quote, he basically blames the Boston Celtics as the first squad to bring back super teams. And in his eyes, LeBron James gets way too much hate for his move to Miami. Now on multiple fronts, I disagree with Blake Griffin and his overall. Of success. course you will. Of course, bro, because you don't. Bro, you often don't listen to you, or, but I was. Mm, boy. Mm, bro, you t Bro, shut the. Bro. Bro. Bro, how can you disagree? The Celtics did it. The Bulls, bro, come, y'all be bro, bring back blowing me. And in his eyes, LeBron James gets way too much hate. LeBron gonna get teammates. hate because they expect him to average 100 points per game and, and go to the finals. Like Now on multiple fronts, I disagree with Blake Griffin and his overall course. assessment. And first up, let's look at the hate LeBron James got and if it was warranted. So at this point, LeBron James in 2010 had played his entire career in Cleveland. And at this point, he had zero championships and only made the finals one time. Who was on his team, bro? His teammates, for the most part, weren't great all-star caliber players. So LeBron leaving Cleveland, he had every right to do that. But I don't think him leaving Cleveland was the reason people were angry. I think the theatrics that surrounded it were the major reason that LeBron James got a lot of hate. LeBron, what's your decision? Oh, bro, y'all, this man can't do nothing, bro. Um, his mama could have said he was going to the uh, Miami Heat and y'all would have hated it. Not two, not three. Not four, not five, not six, not seven. Oh. And also adding on to that, LeBron James' move was the first ever big time free agent move to form a super team. And with Chris Bosch going there, a fellow all-star and top team player, that made it even worse for the optics for LeBron James. And once again, adding on to that, the 2011 finals LeBron James choked, that gave him even more backlash for his move to the Heat. <laughs> you guys came out there jumping on stage like idiots. Then y'all said we're gonna win five championships. Bro, I'm not listening to Charles Barkley. He's not even so a top 20 player. Get on TV. Get him out of here. Like the world owes you. Get him out of here. You guys have to for Not even a top 20 player. I'm not gonna listen to him. Not even a top 50 player. Get him out of here, bro. Teams finally came back. In my personal opinion, not even better than Blake Griffin. <laughs> Get him out of here, man. I see where he's coming from, and I agree with him on one point that Boston, they were definitely a super team. We had Paul Pierce, Kevin Garnett, Ray Allen, as well as a young Rondo. But looking at those four players, 
You could argue every single one of them was not in their prime. Bro, Ray you're a rider, bro. I'm pro he, bro, and people like this, they just want LeBron to get all of the hate. How can you look at that, bro? You're a rider, bro. Rider. Rider, bro. Pierce was 30, Crazy. And Rondo was 21. And both Ray and KG, they were traded. And both Paul Pierce and Rondo were drafted. That, for the most part, was an organic super team made through management as well as Danny Ainge. Compared to the Heat, who were all in their prime and made through free agency. Niggas is... Bro. Is right in effect that Celtics started the super team era once again. But comparing the Boston Big 3 to the Heat Big 3 is not the apt comparison you would make. As once again, those two teams were built two completely different ways. Now for my next point, I'll be very clear. LeBron James did not start super teams. That being the old style of super teams. But LeBron James did start a new style of super teams. That being free agent super teams. Bro, you're a and writer, fact, bro. You what he's saying does not make ability. sense. The and only people who are going to agree is the people Miami, that don't like LeBron. And they, they don't want him to be better than the, uh, Michael Jordan. Game. Newsflash! After 2016, when he came back for 3-1... to one, it was no worldwide who was better than Jordan. Get that out of here, bro. Let that go. The NBA, how players thought, as well as how management thought about players and the overall freedom to move from team to team. Newsflash, buddy. Man, get out of here, bro. Big time moves, mainly Kevin Ray's move to the Golden State Warriors, which in effect was building off LeBron's move six years prior. And let me very quickly post You a telling me Kevin Durant going to the Warriors is the same thing? Bro, I want to hear what he got to say. Which move do you think was worse, Kevin Durant's move, or LeBron's move. You may think it's an easy question to answer, but in reality, it's pretty tough. As if it's tough? I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Hey, bro, look. Hey, I promise you, bro, you sent me this video for me to get mad. It's 2 o'clock in the morning, and I'm yelling. I'm yelling, bro. I'm supposed to be asleep, knocked out, bro. Hey, man, look, bro. The hate that LeBron get, bro, I don't know how he do it. If it was me, bro, I, I ain't gonna hold you. I would have never said nothing either, but I would have, bro, I would have said some slick comments in a press conference, bro. I would have been saying some slick stuff. I would have been throwing some jabs, bro. The, bro, this man getting so much hate and he ignoring it all. Nothing but um, respect to you. My boy, Kevin Durant, great player, but what you did, huh, no, not the same as LeBron. Get that out your head. I'm not listening to him. Stop pressing play. But if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to follow my Instagram at tv.dog, man, and I'm out of here, bro, because he got me messed up.